All right, so if you checked out uh, how to find MAD part one, we covered how did we calculate this mean of 60 and how did we calculate MAD of 10. Uh, so if you're curious of where those came from, check out uh, part one. But again, we're talking about mean absolute deviation, which is the average distance of a data set from its average. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put these points onto a number line and uh, discuss what this means and what it shows us and how do we even calculate this thing in the first place. So uh, roller coaster one, we're going to start with the very basics here, is 55. So I'm just going to put a point at 55. And you can use X's, you can use dots, whatever, uh, whatever you want to use, whatever you can be neat with. Uh, I'm going to just use X's for right now. And you want to be careful to try to line them up as exact as possible. That way your dot plot can look nice and neat and organized and you can uh, really see what's going on. We only have six points, so uh, I'm not exactly perfect there in how I line those up, but that's okay. Um, so, all right, so now we found uh, the next thing that information I already know is that my mean was 60. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a different color to show this, but you're going to need to show your mean as a triangle. So I'm just going to color this in. I chose green. That is not necessarily the preferred color. Color doesn't matter. Just put a triangle to show the mean and line it up again as exact as possible. So my mean is shown by the triangle at 60 miles per hour. Now comes the fun part. MAD is 10. And I have one MAD and two MADs. So what this means is your average deviation is 10. Right? My mean absolute deviation is 10. So that means I can go 10 above to 70, or I can go 10 below to 50. And that is within one MAD. So 10 above or 10 below, that is the range of one MAD. Like that. Make that look like a one there. All right, so that is one MAD right there. Now I can go two MADs, which is just an additional 10. So that means I can go clear up to 80 now, or I can go all the way down to 40. And that is the window of two MADs. And I'll put two MADs up here. All right, so what does that mean? Well, what that means is everything within one MAD, this whole area here, all those points, those are considered normal. That's, it's okay to deviate based on the group's average, to deviate 10 above or 10 below. We, we view that as a normal point. Anything within two MADs is still considered normal, it's just not as normal. So depending on the context of your data, you know, maybe something within two MADs might cause a little bit of concern, or you might just say, close enough. And then anything outside of two MADs, again, depending on the context of what you're talking about. Here we're talking about roller coaster speed, so it's nothing that's uh, scary or anything. But if we're talking about like uh, a patient's heart rate, or we're talking about a student's test score or something like that, now we're looking at something's not right here. Either someone was exceptional, as in that data point, or if I had a point clear down here, oh, that's a problem if we're talking about test score. So any, but anything that's without uh, outside of two MADs, it's abnormal. So again, what we did was we found the average, which was 60, and I can even show you how this is all kind of split up there. Found the average is 60, 10 above, 10 below, that's all within one MAD. Go an additional 10 above or an additional 20, uh, 10 below, now you're talking about two MADs. And there's one last thing to uh, discuss, and that is this point right here. That point is right on the end of one mad. 50 is the end of one mad, and that point is right on 50. That is not considered to be within one mad. Your your points have to be all in. If they're right on, if they're kind of like on the fence, they're not in one mad. They have to be all in. It's all or nothing. So that point there at 50 is actually technically considered within two MADs, not one. 
So uh, be careful of points like that. And again, that's another reason why you want to be pretty exact when you plot your points, your dots on the dot plot, and then you draw your mad lines. Uh, is it right on the line or is it just a hair in front? Had that been 50.1, that would be considered within one mad. But it's right on 50, right on that boundary. Okay, so that is how do we use one mad and how do we use two mads and how do we, how do we show that on a dot plot. So again, 10 above, 10 below, because our mad was 10. We'll go an additional 10, so now it's 20 above or 20 below, and that's within two mads.